Freddy? Freddy, are you out? Oh, there you are. Always just awkwardly standing in our kitchen, aren't you? Eh, it's kind of my happy place sometimes. I guess that's true. You do like meal prepping those high protein meals. Well, but whatever. I uh, I hate asking you for help in these kind of situations. Um, <clears throat> there's a slight situation going on in the little alterverse right now. Oh no! Did Jester call? Did Jester call out Scrappy like they, like they, like he said he would? No. Did Heartsick uh, invade his another person's place in a romantic crusade again? Mm, no. Did uh, did someone step into your the lava domain place and burn themselves? No. Oh, then what happened? Well, Sugar is kind of I want to say on a rampage, but she's not really on a rampage. She's just uh, acting really strange, <laughs> and I try to get through to her along with. Every single other altar. We even got Scrappy to come out and make sure to see if she was okay with talking to her, and she wasn't. She's quite literally just ignoring everybody. And sure, I expect this sort of behavior from like a teenager or something, but she's just a kid, so... Yeah, she turned herself into a teenager once when I accidentally told her that she might need to grow up a little bit. She did? Oh, I forgot to tell you about that. Yeah, I made a boo-boo, and I got upset because she was... Being a kid and all that, and I said something dumb and they took it to heart and turned themselves into a teenager. Right. Well, this definitely isn't that sort of situation. She's just in her daycare sulking. I, I, I don't know how else to get through to her. And she, well, honestly, she just seems like she doesn't even want to talk to me or anybody. And I don't know why. What about Glamrock? She loves Glamrock. No, not even Glamrock, baby. She's really upset whatever it could be okay and what do you want me to do do you want me to go into your mind space <sighs> do i want you to no but you're the only other person i can think of that could give it a try i mean if she's mad at me in the altars that's one thing considering we're all well not the same person but like i don't know connected in a certain way so if one person did it sugar might treat you as all the same doing it or something exactly so i'm curious if you go in maybe you can actually get through to her Use some of that dad charm. I don't know. <sighs> you want me to use my experience with dealing with kids in general just to see if I can get through to her? Yes, please. All right. Uh, I expect one favor back in the future, though. <sighs> if I have to, fine. Just, just see if you can get through to her. We'll do this the old-fashioned way, and I'll charge up and let you inside once again. All right. This should be easy since you're letting me in this time. I should be able to land directly in Sugar's area, so... Yep, I'll try and take you right there. Have fun, and good luck. Alright. I'm getting too used to that number combination. <laughs> Alright, Circus Baby, I'm in! I, I'm in Sugar's area. Alright, are you sure Sugar's here? I don't see her anywhere. She should be, Freddy. I don't know. Look for her. Alright. Uh, I'll try to find her then. Alright, good luck. Remember, she didn't really want to talk to anybody, so just uh, try to get to the bottom of what's wrong. Okay, and wait. I hear a little shuffling in her little playhouse. I think I found her. Good luck. Thanks. Okay. <clears throat> Hello? Hello? Mm -mm. What do you mean, mm-mm? Mm-mm. <clears throat> Sugar? What? Are you mad at me? Yeah. Go away. But we haven't talked in a few days. Mm no. D Blocking up your little thing. I can still see you in there. Nuh-uh. Come on, sugar. I'm your friend. No. I'm your big bro. No. I'm your father figure? No. Sugar. No. What's wrong? No, go away. What did Circus Baby do? No, Circus Baby did is what all of you did. Uh, well, we all did. I'm just trying to re- Ah! Uh, sugar. No. Come on. I'm trying to read my book. What do you want? Sugar, you can't read. Yeah, huh? I see that there's a pretty pink dragon, and I can read. You can spell. Spell it. Sound it out. Sound it out. She. 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 Good. Uh. 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 She stood, um, t t tear. I'm. I give up. 
Oh, Sugar, you're doing so well, though. You're doing better than, yes than the no. other day. No, oh, hey, I want alone time. Alone time? From what I've been hearing, you've been getting a <laughs> lot of alone time for the last day or so. Mm-hmm. Night-night. Sugar. Night-night. You, you can't just turn off the light and act like and act like you're going to bed. Mm-hmm. Night-night. Come night. on. You have to tell me what's wrong. Night-night. Sugar, Circus Baby puts me in the top three most annoying people in the world. night Nine. I'm not going away, sugar. <clears throat> Go away. No. Why? Because, sugar, we're worried about you. Why? You, every time someone came in, including Glamrock, baby, you said no and told him to go away. Mm-hmm. Goodbye. Sugar, you have to tell us what's wrong. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Even if I do, you're not gonna care. Sugar... Is that one of the reasons why you don't want to tell me? You think I don't care? You're not gonna. I'm gonna care. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. No, because if you would care, then I wouldn't be upset because it wouldn't have been an issue. Look, we all make mistakes. We all have issues. If we did something wrong, you need to tell us. Or else we'll make <sighs> it again and you won't be able to and we won't be able to stop it from happening again. Fine! I wasn't invited. Wasn't inviting invited to what? I didn't even know what what a birthday was, and and I never had a birthday before, and I guess I'm not that old, but I wanted to have, and I want to get presents too, and uh, I thought Francine and I were friends. Oh. But no, no one invited me. You got upset because you couldn't go hang out with Francine, your friend. On our birthday. Because Circus Baby was there having fun herself. But no one said that I could do it. Oh, I'm sorry, sugar. Look, it's not that Circus Baby didn't want you to come out. It's just that was the first time Circus Baby was able to have fun without any of the craziness happening. And I'm sorry, we should have thought about... But Francine is my friend. And she's also Circus Baby's friend. She's also my friend, too. But I get it. You... You're upset, and you actually didn't know what a birthday party was, because you don't actually... I guess you would have one on the day you were formed in Circus Baby's head. I don't know when that was. We'll figure that out later, but I'm sorry. You wanted to come out and wish Francine a happy birthday and everything, huh? I wanted to be a part of the party. And let me say, Francine would have loved having you there, too, because she was having fun with FC and Barry and all them. I wanted to play. Wait, are you friends with FC? No. Uh, maybe. They played the Among Us together. Yeah, we'll figure that out later. Anyway, but I get it. I get it. No, not none of the other uh, Glamrock Baby or or um Jester or an anti Heartsick. None of them have ever threw me a birthday party before. They never had one, yeah. Because I guess it wasn't important to them, but. To you, it is. Mm -hmm. You're growing up, and you know what? Maybe we should. Maybe we should have a birthday for all of you. Really? Yeah. We should have a birthday for all of you. And to say that we acknowledge you, and you are important to us. Not just you, but everyone. That would be fun. It would be. Have a birthday for all of you, and then, and then we'll get you all presents. Presents? I want a jungle gem, and I also want a water gun. And I also want a Barbie dream house and a Polly Pocket stove and um an easy bake oven and more paints and more pillows and stuffed animals <coughs> and a big cake. <laughs> you're you're talking about all the stuff you saw Francine opening, huh? Maybe. <laughs> we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it later about what we can get you and everything. Okay. But it'll not only be guests for you, but we also have to think of guests for everyone else, too. Uh, get yeah, Scrappy, a game, and, uh, Glamrock Baby, a planner, and... Is Glamrock Baby still going around doing everyone's work? She's the organizer. It's her job. I know, but she still needs to take time for herself. And Heartsick Baby can have chocolates, and Jester 
Jester likes weird things. I'll give him I'll get him a fidget spinner. I feel like he will love that. Okay. I go read now. Okay, okay. Bye bye. Are you are you feeling better though? Yeah, now that I am gonna have a birthday. Yeah, we'll plan it out. Um and then not only that, we'll make sure all of you feel special. Okay. Now remember, sound it out. She stood the air or for a while. While. Oh. Oh, the mind space always makes me so sleepy. Put you in a streamlike state. You're back, kind of quickly too. Uh, did did she talk to you or? She did, yes. Uh, really? She was mad at me too, actually. What? Mad at? Okay. <laughs> Why? D did you find out? Oh, yeah, I found out. She was mad because you know how she and Francine became friends? Like every now and then we have the little play dates and all that for my niece and sugar and all that. And, and all then they get to play and have fun. Mm -hmm. Well, we were at her birthday party not too long ago and we didn't let her out to have fun with Francine. Oh, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Yeah, and I guess that was considerate of both of us not even thinking about that. Yeah, no, of course. I mean, her and Francine had a little play date, their buddy buddy. That, that makes a lot of sense. But not only that, but she was also upset because she realized that she doesn't have a birthday party. She doesn't get to feel special like Francine did. I mean, I guess that's true, but to be fair, I don't know when her birthday would technically be. You don't know when she formed in the head. I have no idea. I mean, she's been a part of me probably <laughs> for longer than I even knew. Mm-hmm. So that's why I had an idea. Uh-huh. What if we plan someday in the future, maybe a week or maybe a month from now, uh, a day where we'll mark that as a birthday for all the other circus babies? I guess that's not a terrible idea. We get a, we get them all that stuff, and I'll even... I know for a fact that I can't exactly give each circus baby something, and they'll be able to take it with them. But if I give them a mental image of whatever it is I'm giving them there, it should work. Except for Scrappy. I know Scrappy stuff is legit, like the computer stuff. Yeah. By the way, I, I think that's not a bad idea. I think they would really appreciate that, actually. I'll start thinking up some uh, possibilities for everybody. Mm -hmm. You've become close to me like family in the last two years. And honestly, I feel like a lot of the others are becoming similar to me. Just good family that I want to watch out for. Mm -hmm. well, well, at least Sugar's talking to you. Yeah, thanks for doing that again. Problem, like I said. Sugar is like a little is like a little sibling to me and I want to watch out for them. I appreciate it. Oh, by the way, they're learning how to read, so you spelling out saying like, let's not make sure Sugar doesn't get D-O-O-K-I-E-S and all that. It's not going to work for that much longer. Yeah, but in order to do that, she's going to have to be able to like listen and she gets distracted easily so true yeah all right thanks again freddy i'm gonna go i guess work with sugar to plan this party all right i'll let you leave that to do it by the way your side hatch is still open oh, see you uh, thank you <laughs> see ya. yeah last time you fell asleep with that open you kind of broke it off yeah anyway good luck thanks and happy to have sugar talking to you again